pretty you guys got another video here for you this is the andor action cam and this one is under 50 bucks which is pretty cheap uh, but they have had to cut a few corners just to get it down to that low price price point there but we're going to be going through that and taking a look at it in this video so if you want to grab yourself a bargain i'll leave all the information and the link in the video description you can check all that information out yourself and without further ado, let's crack on with the video. So inside the box, you're gonna get just about everything you need. You can see it all listed up on the screen. There's loads of brackets and stuff like that uh, that you're gonna need uh, to mount this, whether it be on handlebars, uh, crash helmets, uh, stuff like that, going underwater, uh, little uh, caddy cases. There is no charger with this, no remote control, and there is only one battery. So you will have to plug this into a computer uh, to get this charged up so just bear that in mind guys but it is under 50 bucks so that's probably the reason why so you can see you've got a load of uh, attachments here uh, which you can use uh, to attach to uh, belts buckles uh, crash helmets you name it it's all in there you get an extra back plate uh, for the uh, waterproof housing and there's a couple of helmet uh, brackets here that you've got adhesive on them and also this little cage here is pretty useful uh, if you want to attach it and use it as a dash cam or something like that you will need a, a little uh, tiny window mount as well you can get them cheap there's your charging cable there your usb charging cable and also you're going to get your uh, camera now this is the camera here it does come with a waterproof housing which is waterproof up to 30 meters and uh, you're going to get all that in the kit so let's take a closer look at the actual camera itself as you can see on on here uh, you've got the 4k uh, 30 frames per second and obviously you've got a little mounting bracket here and uh, there's the uh, name and door and uh, there is your lens you will need to remove the lens covers once you uh, get this this is your navigation buttons on the side here and your power button or uh, the action button when you want to take snapshots and there is your back two inch uh, LCD screen on there you can remove this pretty straightforward you just pull the clip back like so and release it from its housing here now i've used these before underwater and they're perfectly fine and uh i'm gonna i'll make a video at some point with me underwater and i'll show you what they're like they're all pretty much the same these housings uh, but it is water resistant up to 30 meters and i've been pretty deep with some of these so and they've not leaked um, there is a lens here you want to keep that clean to get really good quality picture you can see the lens is 170 HD wide angle lens 17 megapixel CMOS sensor on there as well there's an LED light on the front here the resolutions for the video and photos are all on the screen there also you're going to get your mode button and power button on the front here which you're going to push and you can use that to navigate through your menu also on this side you're going to have your micro SD card slot which takes up to 32 gigabytes not included USB 2.0 and HD out which is on that side there also on the bottom this is where your battery housing is you just need to remove that battery bay and you will find one battery included you can pick these up pretty cheap so buy a bunch of them they come in pretty handy these are also your menu navigation buttons where you can just move these up they're not the greatest in the world these ones but uh, 50 bucks or less it's going to be probably have to do now also you can see here we've got a two inch lcd screen which is functional and does what it needs to do and uh, we're just going to take a look here at the menu so you can see the resolution you've seen these before they're all very similar you can add recording sound time lapse on this one loop recording slow motion um, also the resolution here goes up to 4k 30 frames per second it's set on 10 ATP at 60 frames per second but I'll just change that for you and uh, you can use whatever one you want it does have a slow motion on here but the obviously the uh, picture does degrade a fair bit um, but you've seen me use that uh, feature before and you can take pictures up to 16 megabytes as you can see here uh, auto and you can see exposure white balance Wi-Fi image rotation also driving mode that's in case you, I suppose you want to use it as a dash cam and uh, you've got some other bits and pieces in here uh, as well now also you're going to get your language date and time format reset to factory settings and your firmware version which you can flash it when they release new ones now this is a 4k picture here now I do think people are being a little bit too uh, critical on these types of cheap budget cameras 
and you can see the quality is not too bad for under fifty dollars now the video quality again uh, it has its flaws and that's because it is only uh, less than a fifty dollar uh, camera but i think the picture quality is good enough for what you pay for so you get you pay your money you take your choice that's the old uh, saying so let's have a listen to and the this microphone is the sound test to let you know what the sounds like for the microphone so again the microphone is not the greatest and uh, this is the walking test and without that gyro no, stabilizer you do get a lot of shake so if you want to use this as an action cam you're going to get a lot of movement and a lot of shake and also the audio is not going to be the best so you may want to use an external audio source and uh, you, as long as you're happy with that type of picture you should be fine and happy now I think this is around about 2k YouTube's going to compress the hell out of it and uh, you can hear that rattle when I bang the camera there that is the microphone picking it up so it isn't the best and you'll probably hear another one in a second there you go and uh, again the picture quality is not too bad there's a bit of blue tinge there and a bit of uh, color um, saturation there but at the end of the day it is less than fifty dollars and I think it's an ideal camera uh, for taking on holiday and just messing around and stuff like that you can take it in the water and all that sort of good stuff so I'll leave all that information in the video description just in case you're interested there will be a promotional code in there which you can use uh, now this uh, is 1080p uh, at 60 frames, frames per, per second. second and dusk was starting to come you can see the Sun was just starting to set so it wasn't complete dark but it's good enough to get an idea. I want to thank Andor for sending this over for review. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Bye for now. Still 1080p at 60 frames per second.